Financial advice. This video is made for entertainment purposes only. Please invest your own money at your own risk. I am not a financial advisor. Please do your due diligence and research as I will do mine. Please, this video is not financial advice. What is up, everyone? This is your boy, you know, Saucy Warrior H Bar Simp, Safe Investor AG. And I'm bringing to you a video to discuss what if I put $200 in Sasa Inu right now at the current price or as it climbs up. So Sasa Inu has come out with a lot of bullish announcements and news that doesn't just give um, potential buyers to buy their tokens, but also to hold. It will be explained um, in the upcoming roadmap. But what if I put $200? So let's compare and contrast. Now, remember the expectation before. So SAS Inu currently, we're gonna look at their graph, is chilling at uh, almost a two million market cap now. And it's exploding, I explained before, because of uh, the squeeze that it's, it's happening right now. So um, I'm gonna explain, um, I'm, I'm gonna compare market caps. So first of all, let's compare market caps to SAS Inu's largest liquidity pair. And it's none other than SAS. You see that pair? There's 300,000. It's so fat, really fat. Also mainly because a lot of people, they want to join in on the fun and make money in their farm. Yes, SAS Inu has their own farm. It's right here. Um, and right now the APR is 45% and 46%. But anyways, okay, so what if I put $200 in SAS Inu right now? Can I expect a 100x, 50x, 20x? Well, let's discuss and compare to if I put $200 in SAS and $200 in HBAR. So what's the expectation? So let's talk, let's get right to it. So right now, SAS is swap. SAS Inu is sitting at 1.9 million market cap. So 2 million. Let's put 2 million. Okay. And then SAS is sitting at 30 million market cap. So SAS Inu is trading correctly according to uh, the market cap ratios. So typically it goes a 1 to 10 meaning a 10% market cap. So yes, I'm expecting SAS Inu to match a 10% of SAS's market cap, meaning it eventually is gonna reach 3 million market cap, okay? As SAS pushes up. When SAS pushes up, as you can see here, so it pushes SAS Inu along with it. Now SAS Inu is holding its spot in the top 10 and as it pushes up, uh, mark my words, more people will add to the liquidity, to the farm, to make themselves passive income. And they will also, it'll also surpass Head Starter in my opinion. I don't think it'll pass up USD coin because, no, I don't think so. So anyways, should, what should we expect? Uh, this is what I'm expecting currently. So Sauce, um, uh, I've been chilling the crap out of Sauce. That is an easy 100x. And for those of you that missed the one cent bottom, because I think it's gonna reach one dollar, it would have been a hundred X from there. If you missed a two cent bottom, it'll be a 50 X from there. So right now from sauce, we can expect a 25 X. So if you buy right now at five cents, you still make a pretty good amount of money, uh, in my opinion, and you'll, ma you'll make a five X, which is pretty decent and super good, right? Now, if you wanna pay it, Pay, uh, play it even safer, you know, you $200, and you think, oh, you know what, maybe I'll just buy HBAR. The expectation of HBAR is to reach $1, maybe, maybe $150. So I want, I like to play it safe. So $1, and it's chilling at $0.09, cents. so this is HBAR. So you can expect 11 13x. So sauce from its current price can give I'm expecting a 25x H bar 15x because sauce's main liquidity pair 
is hbar. So it goes where hbar goes unless it gets buying volume. So hbar pushes up, so does um, sauce. But there's a growing demand now for sauce because it's anticipated to make a run like pancake swap. So people are buying it. So it's not relying on hbar pushing it up. So now compare and contrast market caps of sauce swap to Hedera. So HBAR saw um, HBAR's market cap right now, as you can see here, it's at three billion. Okay, three billion. And then you have here, um, you have um, Saucer Swap at thirty-one uh, million. So it's about a one to a hundred, hundred to one ratio. That's how it's been going. Now. Also, sauce will squeeze because when HBAR pushes up, okay, when it goes back up to its all-time high right here, and it's going to push a supply crunch on sauce, and it's going to push it to a squeeze, which that's why, in my opinion, sauce is pricing eventually, like you see right here is five cents. It'll catch up to HBAR's pricing and surpass it in their pricing. If HBAR's spike will push sauce into a squeeze, imagine what it will do when sauce is squeezing, right? What it'll do to sauce Inu. If sauce Inu is already squeezing now, so what's to expect? So, here's what I expect. So, we explained uh, the squeeze before. So, anyways, let's go back down. So, Hedera, or HBAR, is chilling at 9 cents. Sauce, right now, is chilling at 5 cents. Okay, so as Inu is chilling at one, two, three, four, two million market cap. Okay, so if you're expecting HBAR to reach one dollar price point, okay, one dollar HBAR, so one dollar HBAR is a about 11x. A one dollar sauce is about a 20 20 X 20 X all right so do you see here how there's the exponential um, uh, result so on sauce Enu so this is already a 20 X it's getting this is only from buying if it's only by buying it'll get pushed up. If it's by getting dragged by Hedera's liquidity pairing up, it'll squeeze. And if Sauce is squeezing, it'll make a squeeze Sauce Inu. So Sauce Inu, I am expecting to drop. Yeah, uh, do a, a 50X from where it's at. That's what I'm expecting. Okay, a 50X. So now going back to the big question, what if I drop a $200? Can I expect ten thousand dollars back? Um, I would say more or less. I would expect at least five thousand uh, back. So I um, this is not financial advice. It's just what I'm what I'm looking at. So far, I have been extremely right. I have been exponentially right, and that's what I'm expecting. Um, I've been telling people about South Inu. I've been shooting South Inu because. I'm Saucy Warrior, and I want people to make money. I've helped structure, I've restructure Sox Inu, Sox Inu, to uh, give an exponential result in profit taking when it comes to um, Hedera, Sox, and Sox Inu. So, no, in my opinion, it's not too late. So, people that saw major dumpings over here, okay, we need to understand what happened. So, SAS Inu had a had a mega dip. We gotta remember down here. See this dip? It almost went back down to its beginning levels. 
it went look, look at look at look at the price down here over here so check out the price right here okay all right check out just check out that price look it went down right to zero three right there zero three five it went as low as zero three zero zero that means thirty thousand dollar market cap that's how i went it went to thirty thousand dollar market cap some of my followers said is it a buy or is it not a buy i said i can't tell you man some went and bought bam they threw about two hundred dollars three hundred dollars it dropped as low as actually twenty five thousand market cap so two hundred and fifty dollars would have bought you one billion tokens down here yes two hundred and fifty thousand uh, two hundred and fifty dollars, and then the peak at two million, the current all-time high. Two million is the current all-time high. It's a hundred x. So if you bought at this dip up here, you're already a hundred extra money. So the people that bought and put two hundred dollars, they had twenty thousand dollars up here. Can you blame them for dumping? <laughs> uh, honestly, I I don't blame them uh, if they dump it over here. They were happy, so some of them took their profits, and then the float welcomed newcomers. So you see this recovery? Um, it, 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 it recovered masterfully, but that's crypto for you. So, will they regret it? In my opinion, yes, because Sauce Inu, just like Sauce, you look at Sauce, Sauce has not seen a bull run. It's just starting. It's just warming up. H4 has seen a bull run. And it can do an easy 10x from here. Now, Sauce has not seen a bull run. From where it's at, it can do an easy 20x. I'm being conservative here. It's getting squeezed. It'll get squeezed, which it will push Sauce Enum to a 50x. So that's what I'm expecting. Now, since I'm a whale, okay, I've been slowly selling on the way up. I've been slowly selling, uh, selling 10 million to 20 million to 40 million. Does that make sense? Do not hurt the price. I'm not going to dump it like these people did right here. You know, maybe they were trying to hurt the price. Maybe they weren't. But yeah, so, um, so, uh, some of the people that bought Sash Inu right at this dip, they figured, you know, what the heck, you know, they have locked in liquidity for 90 years, so it can't get rugged um, because there was some drama down here. They put in $200 right here, and they banked out right here, and just still, and we're still running. The sales, the golden e-news are hot, and we have not released a utility for the token, which will be released next year. And it's only going to get better. We have a farm that has one of the highest yields, which people are doing. They're doing a set it and forget it um, strategy. Where all they do, they, they buy their SAS annual, one billion, two billion, and then they put it in the liquidity pool, and that's it. Does that mean, and, and that's it. And they're gonna come back later. So I'm releasing tokens because I have too much, and I'm doing it slowly. <sighs> yeah, it's a lot of work, um, but um, I don't wanna hurt the price. So that's what I should be expecting. If I put two hundred dollars right now in South Enu, uh, reaching if it reaches um, fifty million market cap twenty in twenty twenty four, if it reaches a hundred million market cap, that'll be crazy. I mean, if Sauce explodes to freaking, um, if Sauce explodes to like uh, I don't know f uh, one billion market cap. That'll be insane. That'll be insane. Sas Inu will explode to either 50 to 100 plus million market cap. And that's without buying pressure. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm, you have to watch Sausage Price action. But yeah, that's that's what, I, what I'm looking for. $200 should... I, in my opinion, conservatively speaking, should make me anywhere from two thousand and five hundred to uh, five thousand, and then uh, you know I would take out half 
leave the leave the rest just in case because uh, who knows if there's um, exchange listing coming up uh, what size of the exchanges uh, will be listing we don't know wink wink all right guys so that's it um, please comment down below how much sustain are you holding are you still buying um, are you still are you looking to buy the golden a new NFT. Look at that guy. It looks so, so beautiful. Um, well, coming down below. But that's uh, what I would expect if I were to put $200 in something new right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below. And this is Safe Investor AG, H. Warrior, and stay saucy.